piece of uh, three-quarter MDF, which I'm going to use as my, my base, and I've drilled uh, six holes in this metal frame, and I'm going to screw this to the, the base with these types of screws. I'm positioning um, the sander so the disc is exactly uh, flush with the edge of this. Uh, and I also want the, the switch face to be um, external of the, the bodywork um, that I'm going to make to cover the motor area and indeed the, uh, the back side of the, the disc. piece of 20mm um, MDF which is going to fit in behind here. Now I've got to cut this section out to uh, slip over the shaft and allow for the uh, attachment mechanism. pilot holes up through from the bottom and um, I'll screw this now to the base. I missed with that one so I'm gonna go slightly up. do is to um, give it some side support now, make some sides. So I think what we'll do is, incidentally I generally work in millimetres, um, but so where I can I'll convert it to inches for you. Um, like 250 but 10 inches long. And actually make a bit longer there. Go 300, which is um, just shy of 12 inches, and I go 250, 10 inches high. So two of those, one for each side. But this side, I'm obviously going to have to cut a um, shape out for this uh, switch to uh, poke through. And I think on the underside here, I'm going to put an, an air vent. Because uh, what I want to do is I want to box the, the motor in as much as I can, but I, I want to um, uh, have an area here, here where air comes into the fan and blow it through the okay, side. Okay, so I want to cut off a strip off this sheet now. Uh, if you notice, this is the, the bench that I built uh, earlier on in my videos. I've made it the same height as my table saw, so I can use my table saw as a, as a stand and be able to um, strip out and cut out pieces out of full sheets. Right, so what I need to do is, um, with my hand circular saw, is cut up a uh, strip or off a strip uh, 300 mil wide, which is uh, just under the saw. So I need to reduce 39 millimeters so, so 300 
table saw is relatively small, it's still a good table saw, um, I have problems with things this size, or bigger, uh, actually being able to uh, cut nice and square on here. So um, if I had a table saw suede, it would make life a lot easier. Um, and I, In fact, I think that's probably going to be a project um, that I'll do in the very near future. So I have to cut this now in uh, in two halves. Use my um, my guide on the front side. Take it part way through the saw, then pull it out and put the guide on the back. So here we go. Roughly there. So there's my rough shape that I that I want. Like I say, it's not a piece of furniture, so it's definitely not going to turn out like a piece of furniture. So here we go. switch and actually a slot here to allow the exhaust from the or the cooling uh, exhaust from the fan of the electric motor to come out through here and really that's all it really needs. All it needs now is a few screws to fasten it up nice and square. Just cut a piece of ply for the top, and another piece of ply, which is uh, this is um, eight mil ply for the bottom. What I'm going to do is I cut it shy because I want to slot at the bottom to allow airflow to go in, circulate around through the motor, and out through the side, or in and out. Um, I've left a, quite a large ledge on the back here to be able to clamp this to either a bench or um, the cupboard storage unit that I'm going to make to uh, actually put this on. Uh, I've also left a, quite a sizable ledge on the front uh, for either clamps or screws or bolts or whatever. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Because I've screwed the side panels and even this front panel on, um, I'm going to uh, 
use a little bit of um, PVA glue and uh, my weapon of choice, a pin nailer to uh, attach the, the top and the because back Because at any time off. I can just unscrew the screws at the sides and lift this whole section off in one piece if I need to get the, the motor or do anything else. of um, added protection because I don't like the idea of bits and pieces flying out from the sides. I am protected with the sides with this but what I want to do is uh, I've got an aluminium, thin aluminium strip so what I want to do is attach it to the outside of the, um, uh, the box section here and wrap it around and attach it here to give added protection uh, in the upper quadrant. Of course, the front side, I'm going to make a, a stage in here, uh, which I hope to be able to um, have adjustable uh, to 45 degrees. And uh, maybe at one bottom corner here, I may close uh, a section in down the bottom here uh, to put a, a shop vac. Um, to get rid of some of the dust. Um, I've just gone down to the uh, the local hardware store, which is easy for me just down the road, and uh, picked up some ready-made um, angled brackets with holes already drilled in. So I'm going to put one on here, just there, and um, I may put one here and one here as well. We'll see what okay, I'll just clamp the aluminium there, bend it slightly, put that bracket on, drill a hole in it, put that screw, put it in the hole there, just to line it up. Now what I want to do is just be able to cut this off. job I've had to do and the most complex job that I've had to do so far with this is get that nut on inside there. It's near impossible. It's probably important too to put uh, spring washers on if you're going to use any little uh, screws and nuts. The vibration that uh, this thing can make they all can make uh, might have worked for the little screws loose. Okay, so basically that's the sander um, main body um, well built. Uh, I mean, you could, if you wanted to now, just put a, a sanded disc, a glue a sanded disc on there now and, and use it. Um, but of course, I want to make now a, a staging or fence um, out here uh, that will be able to adjust it 45 degrees. Um, but uh, I think 
this will be the end of um, video three. And um, it's not bad, it's very simple, very cheap, but it's safe. So um, I think that'll do for this video. And um, hope to see you on the next one. So uh, if you if you like the, the video, please press like or subscribe to my channel. Top corner up there, you'll see a little red box. Please press on that, and that will take you directly to my YouTube channel, where there's now 50. This will be number 58 for you to um, have a browse and have a look. So from me now, bye for now.